Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're in Austin, Minnesota, here to visit the Spam Museum. about spam in Minnesota. When I was reading about the story online, it kind of makes sense though. Uh, spam is made by the Hormel Corporation and their headquarters is here in Austin, Minnesota. So they've created this, what I would say is a spectacular museum devoted to everything about spam. A spam fishing lure. We've got this nice little display set up here at the beginning. They've got several exhibits in here. They've got different versions of their commercials they've had over the years. This is one from 1992 about spam burgers. Let's go take a walk around and see what we can find. Here's a Sir Canelot character. Got a nice little spam background wall here we can, we can take a picture with. Might be Instagram worthy. Here's about the spam character. You can pause there if you'd like to read about it. So we got this conveyor belt running around here that has uh, all these cans of Spam running on it. And as we look around the museum, there's cans going around on a conveyor belt above us. Yeah. How many are we talking about? Yeah. There's 780 cans on our particular uh, train, and it takes about 18 minutes to go all the way throughout the museum. And the wall behind us asks, how many Spam cans tall are you? Stand here, put the mark up. I am 21 spam can tall. Goes all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top. On these little exhibits, you can go through the process of how spam is made. So you gotta push this button to start your time. And then you can see how many uh, spam cans you can fill up. So you hit the timer, you take the can, you put the spam in it, you put the lid on, you gotta put it in the oven. Press the start button. You gotta wait till the oven is done. You gotta put the label on it. Can't put the label on it one handed. We're gonna skip that part. Well, there's your cover. I put it on backwards. And then you gotta box it and press the stop button. It took 51 seconds to do that, guys. Right. It's a little fun interactive Two, thing one. for the kids to play with. And I love Spam. You've got different facts about Spam. Different flavors they have. They have the classic Spam. You have the teriyaki Spam. You have the bacon Spam. Spam light and spam with less sodium, oven roasted turkey spam, hot and spicy spam, and spam jalapeno. Let's see what it says behind this. 
Treat your taste buds to a fiesta of flavor with lively Spam Jalapeno. It's more awesome inspiring than a sunny Medallion Beach. It was introduced in 2012, it says. And this one says, how many cans of Spam are produced or eaten every second? 12.8 cans are eaten every second. That's crazy. That's a lot of Spam. This section here is called the Global Marketplace, where they celebrate the Spam brand from around the world. It talks about the different Spam products they have, and they have different displays here. Uh, different types of commercials they have around the world, how different parts of the world prepare Spam to be eaten. So we're in this section here. Let's go check this out. Over here they have Spam in Japan. Japanese commercial about Spam. Got the Spam character there. It's kind of cute. Here's some examples of how it might be uh, done in, in Japan. And so here's a exhibit about Hawaii. They say that Hawaii consumes more Spam products than any other state. Eight million cans a year. Here's the kind of packaging they have for the Spam in Hawaii. This one's China. And says this says that uh, spam was introduced in China in 2009. Chinese consumers describe the taste of spam products as a meaty, juicy satisfaction. And here's the kind of uh, packaging they have for spam in China. Here we have an exhibit about Spam in South Korea. Here's some of the South Korean packagings they have here. Got a little walk going on. Here's one of the commercials they have for it. This guy eating Spam with his uh, ramen noodles. Enjoying the beverage. It's a Spam gift pack. And here we have the Spam Shack. Here we have the Spam Shack with the Spam character in it. This talks about uh, the ingredients that are in Spam. And so the board here says, how is, how is it made? And step one, they take pork with ham, two cuts from the same pig. They take the pork shoulder, used for the juiciness and tenderness. And then they take the ham, the cut of the pork from the pig's rear, which is thick and flavorful. So that's step one. Step two is they add salt, sodium chlorified for all the scientists out there. And then step three is they add water. H2, H2O for all the scientists again. And then step four, they add potato starch to it. It helps keep the moisture inside the meat, it says, where it belongs. Then over here, they have step five. They add sugar to it. And then the final step is to add sodium nitrate to it. This helps keep it preserved. And then they cook it in a can. We've got a display here about a couple that was married. 
currently here at the Spam Museum in uh, 425, 2017. They had themselves a spammy wedding. They've got a motorcycle here that was uh, runs off of bacon biodiesel. So it's the world's first bacon fueled motorcycle. Black label bacon. This section gives you a little bit more history about the Hormel Corporation. When some of their products were started. Here's a little story about uh, how Spam got its name. Apparently Jay Hormel was at a New Year's party event. And back over in this area, they have a play area for kids. A little reading nook over here. There's an obstacle course they can climb to in here. Got some slides into it. Over here you have a playhouse for kids to play in. Whole little kitchen setup. There's the kitchen setup in here. And here you've got the uh, backyard deck. And that includes the grill and the picnic table and the farmlands. And then after you've enjoyed the museum, they have the spam shop at the end where you can enter the gift shop and get all kinds of spam attire. You've got some hoodies, some sweatshirts, you've got a, even got a spam jersey. Some spam hats, got the spam brand. On the back wall over here, they have lots of different spam t shirts. Oh, we got spam earrings. You want to get yourself some spam earrings. Over here's the spam t shirts. Spam put on the Image of Minnesota. Very cool t-shirts. I've got some spam Hawaiian t-shirts here, which makes sense given what we just learned in the museum about Hawaii being the state that consumes the most spam. Soccer jerseys, cups, get yourself a Spam bag, reusable bag, and they got spam lunch boxes. That's pretty cool looking. You don't see kids with too many old style lunch boxes anymore. And of course, you can buy uh, any flavor of spam you'd like to have here. They got spam cookbooks. All kinds of flavors of Spam. Then over here they've got some items for littler kids. Toddlers, babies. You can get yourself, get your kid a, a Spam t-shirt. So that is the Spam Museum here in Austin, Minnesota. Be sure and like this video, give me some comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you, and we'll see you guys next time.